Alright guys, Pitching Ace 88, this is my Gauntlet Legends walkthrough, uh, part 2. Let's go back to this level. We are in Dagger Peak. This game is brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Uh, this, this, this will be a complete walkthrough. I'm fairly positive. Okay, this is a rock monster. Use your special. And then I would run away. Just kind of just keep attacking him. There you go. He's not too difficult. Uh, and you know, this is a game that I, as a as a kid, and even even now when I played it again, I realized how much fun this game was. I how do I do this? Okay, there should be a. Uh, Oh, there it is. There. You gotta hit the rock. It'll open this. I have to touch the obelisk. I can't remember why. The runes are to get to the next level, I believe. You might need to get all the obelisks. So you can go that way, but I would like to save some of my keys, so I'm gonna go this way. You can walk up. This is the way to where it was. But this looks, I mean, this looks like it's really handling uh, my Dreamcast very well, Pinnacle is. And in order to exit, you just have to stay on it for a little bit. Okay, level four. Now, I'm, I, in this walkthrough, I will be doing some leveling off screen. I'll show you what I'm going to do in order to level. Because... There's a very specific world, number five, where you can level up really quickly. You are now entering the Cliffs of Desolation. The Cliffs of Desolation. But there, there are, there are, okay, I hate you, stop it. There, there are, uh, and see x-ray goggles sees that, sees that this is poison, so, no, no need to open it. This is health. What was I going to say? I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, I was going to... Nice. Gained a level by being exploded. I love it. Ouch. Jerk. But, there's... I need to I need to start thinking a little better. But make sure to hit this because then you can get the room. Oh, there's gonna be a part where I level the fifth world. I'm gonna level, and I can do that off camera. I'll show you. And plus, you also get uh, a lot of gold for how much you're actually how much work you're actually getting done. And if you're the knight, you can play kind of just running at these guys as much as you can. But I'm the wizard, so I'm going to try and stay back. I am weak on armor, so I will need to be getting that soon. And if you don't have any magic, the chest that you can see right there, don't open it. I'm going to come back to it, but... and Because I... Okay, I'm going to use my demon skull. Okay, that worked out well. Got my face. Stop it. Jerk. Your key ring is full. My key ring is full. Yeah, the keys are never really a problem, and then at some point the magic really won't be... Oh, there it is. Uh, hit him from afar. When he comes to you, press magic. It's... He's actually a lot of experience points. I can't. I don't know how much he is, but trust me, he is a lot. The vulnerability is pretty sick. I, I mean, I, I like it because I just pretty much just walk up to everyone. And I'm definitely going to have the, the music up a little bit 
in this game because it is this I, I do I remember this and it is the music in this game is great I don't know if you guys ever played the game in the arcades but the arcades always had your health like dwindling down and I, that always sucked because you'd always use up way too many quarters this was fun because I'd always get my friends to come over or my just my get my family to hop on. Okay, get out of my face. There we go. <clears throat> Do I go down? Nope, don't go down first. But as you can see, I'm, I'm going forward because you want to kind of hit the their lair. Okay, that pops down. Another key, which is always good. Yellow the I, I, this guy's voice is awesome. I love it. it. Makes me feel so accomplished. Yellow wizard has gained a level. There we go. That should have worked pretty well. Okay. Now this is awesome. I'm invisible. So normally what I do when I'm invisible is I destroy the layers because I can. Because they won't, they won't attack you if you're invisible. So I destroy the layers, and then I go around and try and kill them all. Yeah, you should die. Wait for the rock, Indiana Jones style. You still can't see me, I love it. And as you can see, the bigger the layer, the, the more more powerful the people are. Okay, you're going to want to open this. It's not too difficult to find. Later in the game, it may be a little bit more difficult for me to find. But in the beginning, the walls are pretty discolored. It's just later in the game, the, the levels are a lot like longer. Nothing there. Food is good. Alright. Let's head out. Okay, now you don't have to buy anything, but I'm gonna buy armor so that I can take more hits because my guy sucks right now and what I want to do is I think okay so you, you need three runes in order to get to the next place you don't have to actually defeat the bosses uh, there's four four places plus the middle one which is like the final boss down here but they'll all have, I believe, the same amount of uh, worlds. And you have to get all the runes and obelisks in each one. Let's let's head to this one. We'll do that. We'll tackle that one in the next video. It's been pitching Ace eighty eight. I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out.